Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Gunplay TV. We are on episode number 326 and this is kind of a special episode because yes, we have fresh meat for the show. <laughs> so, hello, nice to meet you. Who are you? Why don't you tell everybody who are you and where are you from? Ah, good day. So, my good day. name That's a hint. <laughs> My name is Mandela and I am from Australia. Australia. Mm. Okay. So do you like Vegemite? Ah, uh, yes. I love it. Actually. I, I actually, Vegemite. I'm from America, but I actually, I had an Australian friend when a place <laughs> I lived before and he gave me a jar of Vegemite and I was like, you know, you can't just eat it straight from the jar. You got to put it on like <laughs> toast or something, but actually it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I like it. It's a bit bitter, but it's a bit salty. A lot of Americans really have no idea what Vegemite is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've noticed. Vegemite. Of course, in England, it's called Marmite, so mm. it's kind of a, a staple food item in Australia and England. But yeah, exactly, exactly. It's quite tasty, I have to say. So, Mandela, mm. what are your interests what brought you to hobby link japan well i really like anime and manga okay specifically shonen shonen are yeah, you have yeah. like a favorite shonen series um at the moment i really really love uh my hero academia my hero yeah. you know i've heard the name i'm not so big into watching this stuff but i know mm. the names i'm of course working here you see all yeah. the time but yeah my hero academia yeah. that seems quite popular at the moment yes it's super popular okay yeah, yeah. Do you have any other ones? Um, at the, I also enjoy Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball okay. One Piece, One Piece, um, Naruto. Oh, okay, the big ones. Yeah, the big ones. I also like. Um, there's a few shows that are probably not as popular. One called uh, Rage of Behemoth, I think. Maybe. All right, so that's pretty cool. I like. You know, I'm not so much into watching those other series, but I do like One Piece. Mm. But One Piece, there's just so many episodes i think i got to the episode like 400 i tried watching the anime and i got around to 400 i did there was an arc where like the ship like goes up into the clouds and there's like an island that's floating in the clouds oh. is it skypedia or Sky? yeah skypedia uh. okay I, i've watched skypedia yeah and you know that's that's the last part that i truly remember i think uh, i watched okay. it i completed that but i don't remember if i started watching after that or not but Okay. Yeah, there's a lot. And I but, love Bandai also, speaking of, because this is Gunplay TV, Bandai also makes like a line of little like ship kits from the One Piece series, and I've oh. built a number of those. Actually, there was supposed to be here, there was supposed to be a new one that comes out okay. this week, but it wasn't here in time to record for this episode. So we'll get it on the next next week's episode. Oh, nice, so nice. Those are always fun to do. So have speaking of modeling stuff, have you ever built a Gundam kit? Uh, no, I haven't, but I'm definitely interested in finding out how. Okay, you want to try? Yeah, sure. Give it a go. Yeah. Do you think they look easy? They do not. <laughs> <laughs> They're not so bad, to be honest. They're, it's not too challenging. You don't need glue. Okay. You just need a good pair of nippers. All right, so anyway, we got to take a look at the new items that have come into stock for this week. And we'll start away with the biggest release that I've probably been looking forward to the most. And that awesome. is a new kit in the RE100 line. And this is the Zaku 2 FZ. This kit kind of makes me perplexed in a way. Because for the Zaku 2, mm. we already have a really, really nice Master Grade 2.0 okay. Zaku 2 kit. So... I mean, sure, the armor pieces may be a, a slightly bit different, but I kind of wonder why do we need a Zaku 2 in RE100. Mm. I'm, I'm a bit confused about that, but I'll put this kit together and we'll take a look at it. Maybe I'll try to find the 2.0 Zaku 2 that I've built previously for this show, actually. Maybe three or four years ago. That was when Sid was still here. Maybe I can try and dig that kit out and do a comparison and see what is different between the two. But... <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to putting this together, although I do nice. have a Master Grade I need to finish before I get to this kit, so hopefully it'll be soon. <laughs> nice. But also a new kind of, not really a big release, but it is a cool release, and this is the Magnasaur. Ooh. So we had the Gosaur, I think that was last year, mm. and a few viewers might remember, we had Ardith. Ardith was, Ardith was on the show, and she built that first kit with me, or for me, for the show, I should say, but uh, Ardith unfortunately is not here, so we'll have have to maybe we'll have to build this one on our own so i think one kind of cool thing with this if i remember right is that it can combine with the gosor in a way to make like a some kind of super weapon or you can use the weapons from this on the gosor so we'll have to take a look at that too so that's quite interesting and nice. then also another new bandai release 
We have, that is, can you grab that one for me? Sure. We have, it's are. a new LBX release, and this is the Joker. That's a rather simple, simple name. So what do you think? <laughs> right, Does it right. look kind of cool? Yeah, this one actually looks pretty awesome. I actually like all of them, to be honest. They are all mm. really awesome, and they are, they all come molded in color. I don't know if you've ever looked inside to these in these boxes no, this before, is but the first time I've ever opened. You've never opened one, yet? okay? Yeah. So, so your first time here on the show. So yeah, <laughs> the Gundam, the Bandai kits that they make, they're all snapped together, and they come pre molded in colors. We even get oh, some nice. clear colors, although I think that's just a display stand. And mm. of course, you got stickers, so they're rather easy, to, uh, simple to apply. Okay. And with these LBX kits. If you look at how it connects to the the part connects to the runner, mm -hmm. you actually don't need nippers to build these kits. They're designed for younger audiences mm -hmm. that you can just snap them off oh, right, and then right. put it together. Of course, when I build it, I still prefer to use nippers, just to like a really fine pair of nippers, just to get the cleanest cut that I possibly can mm -hmm. when I build these type of kits. But LBX kits, they seem to be quite popular again these days. They've been around for a few years now. Go ahead and throw that one back there for me. No All right, so that's it for the three Bandai kits that we have this week, except for the One Piece kit, which we'll show next week. But Fujimi, mm. now Fujimi is another Japanese manufacturer, and these kits are all made here in Japan. They have been doing some rather interesting snap kits themselves. And we have now dual boxings of both their bug kits and... A dinosaur kit. So we have the Tyrannosaurus and Velociraptor dual kit here. Nice. And then we also have the, I think it's the Stag Beetle and Rhinoceros Beetle. So these kind of giant beetles, they're really, here in Japan, like young boys, they always have to have like a pet beetle mm. type of thing. So if you ever go to like a pet store, you see like the, the cases where you can buy a case and keep the beetle and I think you can actually just go out in the field and like find these things. <laughs> yeah. In California I don't remember ever seeing such interesting beetles to be honest. Yeah, not even in all, Australia. Not like in, Australia. Yeah. in California we had, it was mostly lizards that I would catch. In Australia, let's say we got spiders but I've never caught okay. those. Well Australia, you're kind of famous for having like lots of giant yeah. animals that tries to <laughs> kill everybody like you see those youtube videos like somebody lifts up the toilet seat and like this 12 inch spider like just like creeps out and says hi yeah 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 like, Yeah, i'm never going to that country <laughs> you should it's fun uh someday you know i, I do want to visit i have a friend that lives in perth so oh, okay maybe someday I'll, I'll get a chance to go out and visit my friend but you're not from perth what part no i am from melbourne Melbourne, yeah, okay. probably the best city in Australia. I think that's no one of offense. the that's one of the cooler cities too. It's yeah, not like yeah. the Gold Coast, which is like constantly above thirty degrees. All yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. So Melbourne's pretty nice. It's kind of level, but like Melbournians know that Melbourne, uh, the weather in Melbourne at least can kind of change in a day. Uh -huh. Basically, you can have four seasons in a day. That's what we call it. Okay. Yeah pretty wild sounds interesting and mm. since it's australia now here in japan it's summer and it's mm. nice and humid and it's getting hot it is but you're missing winter yeah yeah right now it's not as cold as it gets in japan uh yeah i think it's probably it gets to around four degrees -ish. four degrees yeah. okay but does it ever snow in no melbourne? not in okay. melbourne in the mountains yes it does snow here. It mm. hasn't, though, the last couple of years. I think okay. global warming. Mm. So we'll have to see. Although this year, summer here in Japan has actually been a bit cooler yeah, yeah. than usual. Last year, it was just excruciatingly hot the yeah, entire that's true. summer. And then this year, we just had a rainy season that just doesn't kind of want to end, which that's I'm actually <laughs> enjoying it because it hasn't gotten over 30 degrees like at all <laughs> yeah, me yet too, but me too. i think next week i saw the weather and it's gonna be over 35 so oh, okay <laughs> but anyway we need to get back on topic we're <laughs> we're getting too far off topic here all right so that's it for the kids that have come into this week so mm. do we have any comments for mm, this last week's episode would you mind do or would you do the honors and read the comments for sure us? sure so the, the first, first one, one who is it from by b nuts b nuts b nuts um, this one says, the recent Gunpla driver... Divers. Divers, <laughs> sorry. Hold on. The recent Gunpla divers, figurized standard line is a vast improvement over the old Gunpla girls. Yeah. Much more human. Mm. Maybe they'll make char? Char. Char, okay. 
Shara and Amaro for Gunpla's 40th anniversary. Right, you know, Shara and Amaro, those would be those would be good kids to have. So mm. yeah, the 40th anniversary. So actually this year is the 40th anniversary of the Gundam anime series. Oh. But in 1980, mm-hmm. Bandai started to make Gundam model kits. Okay. So next year is the is the fortieth anniversary of Gundam models? It's actually also my fortieth birthday, so oh. I'm the same age as Gunpla. Oh, nice! Yay! That makes me feel old too. You do not look it. Thank you. <laughs> no Thank worries. You. You, you can be on the show forever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping next year. I mean, they they. I remember it was. I don't remember where it was, but they showed off this really cool like bust and it was a bandai hobby item so no it wasn't a collector's item it was this really cool gundam bust mm. so i'm hoping they do that they do make that bust kit because i okay. would really like to build that if if that ever does come out mm. all right so the next comment what do we have so from the shadow gamer the shadow gamer the, the shadow. shadow knows <laughs> half my brain is going i've got to get woody and buzz and the other half is going what the hell are you going to do with all those Display them in your Gunpla collection. <laughs> yes, why not? I mean, those the Woody and the Gun, the Woody and the Buzz. I'm so sad I didn't get to build either of those. <laughs> but they're such cool looking kits. I mean, sure it's Toy Story, sure it's Woody and Buzz, but I mean, think most people, most normal people don't really know so much about Gundam. But I can guarantee you, like ninety percent of the population out there knows. Woody and Buzz. So that if you so were to true. have Woody and Buzz in your Gundam collection, even though you have like, you could have like a giant Neo Zeong, you could have some really cool gold plated unicorns in there. You know what two kits most people would go to first if, if they were in there? They would go to the Woody and Buzz. Like, wow, that's Woody and Buzz because that's <laughs> what they know. So I think, I think for me, yes, I would have Woody and Buzz just sitting in there with mm. the audience. Maybe even make it like a Where's where's Wally? Where's, where's Wally? Wall- yeah. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where's Woody? From, from where's Woody? You can just kind of like hide it in there with the other HG kits and be like, there he is. But yeah, um, I mean those are cool. Those are cool kits, and they're the same stuff. They're built the same way as Gundam kits, so mm, okay. I would definitely put those in with my Gundam just just for the fun of it. Mm, Why not? Why not? I do hope I get a chance to build the Woody and Buzz at some mm. point. So. Hopefully. All right, so we do have a 2,000 yen prize giveaway to do for that last episode. Would you do me the honor of waving our 2,000 yen placard? All right, so the winner for this week's 2,000 yen Hobby Link Japan store credit giveaway is going to go to Mighty Leg. And their comment was from the Hobby Link TV, Gunpla TV, in episode number 324 comments. And their comment was, love to see the Buzz Lightyear model kit being built. Okay, so I believe Dave is in charge of building the Buzz Lightyear. So Mm. I think the Woody... I think Scott's Woody review is going to go up first. So the second review that goes up should be Dave's Buzz Lightyear mm. review. So be sure to stay tuned for that. All right, so Mighty Leg, I'll be contacting you eventually on HobbyLink.tv to get you that 2,000 yen HobbyLink Japan store credit. All right, so if you guys out there would also like to win 2,000 yen HobbyLink Japan store credit, all you need to do is post a comment either on YouTube or on our HobbyLink.tv site for any video from this one, which is 326, until the next like new kit release mm. video goes up. So I believe we'll have, uh, I'm not sure, we should have like the Buzz Lightyear review in that. Hopefully we'll have my Master Grade review, or the Master Grade Alex review should also be in that batch before the next episode goes up. So. So be sure to watch those videos and get your comments in if you would also like to win 2,000 yen Hobby Link Japan store credit. So. I think that is going to do it for us for this week's episode. Mandela, thank you very much for being a co-host for me and joining me in this episode. It's great to have you on. Hopefully we'll get to have you on some more in future episodes. Sure, sure. Maybe we can get you building some kits. It's always always fun (laughs) to have fresh blood on the show, like actually building this stuff. That would be fun. It was enjoyable. Thank Thank you you very very much for having me. 
All right. Well, thank you for being on here. And thank you guys out there for thank watching. <laughs> so be sure to stay tuned for the reviews that should be going up this week. And also stay tuned for our next new kits coming in stock episode, which should be up next week. Mm. I believe I don't remember what is actually coming next week. Hopefully something is coming <laughs> next week. If not, <laughs> Fingers we'll crossed. have to see. <laughs> yes. Anyway. But all right, guys, thank you for watching. And we'll see you again shortly. Thank you.